Yes, of course I am. Spirits will not pull away from you. What they do is they are working behind the scenes. They are protecting you, making sure that things do not get worse. So whatever you are experiencing, it is nothing compared to what would be happening in your life if that energy would hit you head on and your spirits would not be there protecting you. So if you're experiencing some psychic attack, if you know things are off within your home, make sure to get a reading and just know your spirits will always be there having your back, protecting you. Not All right, y'all. Now, I wanted to speak on that real quick. I just want to let y'all know, too, that, you know, and this is not just for TIs. This is for everybody, anybody that receives this message, anybody that landed on this video. There's a reason, there's a purpose that you needed to hear this. But you need to understand that, like what that young lady just said, she said that um, the young goddess, she has said that, you know, don't ever think that your spiritual guides, you know, whether they're your ancestors, you want to call them, um, angels, demons, whatever, whoever you work with, you know, that they're not there with you. Because, you know, when you're in this program or whatever, or just going through life in general, we all go through hardship. And sometimes you be thinking that, you know, you're just going through this alone. And I believe that the program is intentionally intentionally designed for you to think that way. So my thing is what I want to tell you. I want to let you know that what that young lady just said, that young goddess has said, you know, you got to you got to know that you're being protected. Sometimes things might look crazy and goofy, but you got to know that just imagine like she said, just imagine all the things that you're going through. Just imagine if you wasn't protected. Your your situation will be by far worse cuz I remember, man, you know, even though I've been in this simulation for a long time, right? But I remember back in like 20, um, I would say like 17, 18, 19, 20, you know, all those, all those years, you know, cause remember I got activated in 2016, but we talking like from, from 2018 to like, you know, all the way up until I would say maybe 20, 22, you know what I'm saying? So we talking like 20, 2017. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, you know, those was like those crazy years of gang stalking. And I'm talking about, talking about when, when I mean they was coming full force, they was coming full force, man. You know what I'm saying? And I guess that the reason why they do that is to really, really break you down, try to shut you down real quick. Because, you know, for those that don't know nothing about the program, you know, you, you don't understand and and it's good that you don't understand because at the end of the day I really really wouldn't suggest or wish that you will be in this program but then again sometimes I'll be saying I do wish that some of these larger cre content creators would experience this for a year just so they can talk about it so we can really really put it out there on front front street you know what I'm saying people that got millions of subscribers you know what I'm saying but at, just so they can experience it because i tell you one thing, you know, you will really, really never understand this program until you experience. And it reminds me of what Morpheus told Neo. He said, nobody can, Morpheus said to Neo, he said, nobody can tell you what the matrix is. You must see it for yourself. So that's how I feel about this simulation, this gang stalking simulation. Nobody can tell you about what it is you must experience for yourself. It, it don't matter. I could sit here and talk to you till you're blue in the face, you know what I'm saying, about you know all these weird synchronizations and people following you from store to store and, and town to town and city to city and state to state, you know what I'm saying, wearing all these weird color codes 
um, <laughs> colored color clothes and cars and, and airplanes flying over your head and dog stalkers you see a day. I could just, you know, direct it in these weapons. I can go on and on and on about it. But if you never experienced it, it would just all really, really pretty, pretty much sound lunacy, lunacy. You know what I'm saying? Or you'd be thinking, you'd be like, this guy is, is, is ludicrous. He's ludicrous. You know what I'm saying? You would be thinking that, you know, like, there's no way in the world somebody would put that much energy into one individual. That's what you would be thinking. And I can't fault you for that. I can't, I can't blame you for thinking like that. Because, you know, I mean, who's to say that if I was never in the program, somebody came to me and told me that this is what they was experiencing. I would be looking at them probably, you know, I don't know. I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I can't make that judgment. You see what I'm saying? So that's why Morpheus told Neo, and or nobody can tell you what the Matrix is. You must see it for yourself. I said the same thing with gangs talking. Nobody can tell you what it really is. You must experience for yourself. If you never experienced this, you will never know. You will never understand it. But the but the moral of the story is what I'm trying to tell you is that there's gonna be times when you might feel like you know you're all alone in this situation. But I'm here to let you know that what you need to do. You need to get closer to your spiritual guides. You need to get closer to your ancestors. You need to start um, showing respect and homage to your, put your to your spiritual side. A lot of y'all people be claiming that y'all spiritual, but you're not. You're really carnal minded. You don't even deal with the spiritual world. You know what I'm saying? You don't. You don't. You don't. Um, you know. You don't pour out a little bit of liquor for the ancestors. You don't pay homage to them daily. You know what I'm saying? You don't you don't you don't you don't light candles for them, you don't meditate with them, you don't give them offerings, burn ancestry money, you don't do none of that stuff. You see what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is if you feel if you feel as though, you know, you might be like, Man, I feel lonely or whatever, I'm walking in this path by myself, nobody ain't nobody ain't talking with me, nobody ain't messing with me, whatever, whatever, you know, I don't have no friends. Well just this is this is to me, this is the perfect time. To get closer to the spiritual side, anyway. If if everybody in the physical side is 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 is, is ludicrous, then I'm going to the spiritual side. I'm going to the spiritual side. I'm, I'm going. You know, what I'm saying like this program allowed me to to go within more and more and more every day. You see, what I'm saying. You know, and I'm grateful. Of the science, the occult science, and everything, all the information that I study, to 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 um get closer to my higher self, like even like what Jesus said. See, y'all don't understand that Jesus was an occultist. You know what I'm saying? Jesus was down with the occult science. Why do you think he said, "Um, seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all things shall be added unto you"? And then, and then he turned around and said that uh, the kingdom of God is where within. So how can you seek, how can you seek, how can you claim that you're seeking the kingdom of God, but you're not even going within? You know what I'm saying? See, y'all y'all forget that Jesus went to Egypt. You know what I'm saying? That's where he learned metaphysics. You know what I'm saying? Jesus was highly intelligent. He learned the science. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, he was all about the esoteric, you know, knowledge, um, occult science. With all the stuff that y'all consider to be witchcraft and evil, your you, 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 you Jesus was into that stuff. And that's the reason why they called him a sorcerer and say he was doing sorcery and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Because they didn't understand him. Just like you don't understand me. But somebody out there understands me. You see what I'm saying? And maybe it might take another 5, 10 years, 12 years for you to understand me. But one day you will. One day you will. So all I'm saying is if it wasn't for me going within, you know, years ago, I told you my spiritual journey ta- started a long time ago. You know what I'm saying? So if if I did if I didn't learn how to go within, man, this program would drive a person insane. You see what I'm saying? So I feel I feel bad, or should I say sorry or whatever? You know, I feel for the people that have been placed into this sinister program, and they didn't know what to do. Or where to go. You know what I'm saying? And that's, that's that's another reason why a lot of people go crazy. That's why a lot of people choose to go the violent route. I can't fault them for that. 
I can't say you're wrong because you choose to grab that AK-47 and put it to work. You see what I'm saying? Because I'm going to keep it real with you. The young boy DB would have done that. <laughs> y'all don't know the young DB. You see what I'm saying? See, I, I'm, see who y'all listening to now is a, is, a, is a new, you know, this is this is what the Bible talks about. Be ye transformed by the renewing of the mind. Romans was Romans chapter one, chapter twelve. It says, "Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of the mind." I have renewed my mind daily. You see what I'm saying? The old yeah, the old DB yeah. He was he was listening to Spice One back in the day. You know what I'm saying? He would have he would have been on some other stuff. You see what I'm saying? I, you got to get out of that frequency. You see what I'm saying? You know, so. Unless you want to, you know, be doing some tick. You know what I mean? But my, my, my thing is what I'm saying is, you know, it, it's all up to you. You know what I'm saying? I, had, I, I was basically pushed to the corner, basically, with my back against the wall. And I feel as though I didn't have no other choice but to go within. And when you, when you turn around and you see how the world... You know, treat especially if you're in this program. You, you, if you feel as though you've been blackballed and you know outcasted, what else you gonna do? What else? What else? What else is there to do but to go within? People read the Bible and don't even understand what Jesus be talking about. Isn't it written in your law that you're gods? He was telling you. Tap in. Learn, learn your, learn who you are. With it, with it, uh, know thyself, Marcus Garvey. You know what I'm saying? You gotta know thyself. You gotta know that you know you're, you're not just that body. You are a source energy, and you must tap. You must go within. Pay homage to your peoples. Pay homage to your spiritual guides, your ancestors. Strengthen that inner man. And you'll be able to walk this path, whether it's the left hand or right hand path, whatever people be saying, whatever whatever path you choose, whatever title you want to give it. You know, you got to understand, a lot of people, a lot of us are going to be, you know, alone on this path. But that's okay. That's cool. You'll be all right. You'll be all right. One thing for sure, you might be alone in the physical, but once you tap into the spiritual, you're never alone. You're going to have an a, a army of soldiers, warriors by your side, riding with you, protecting you, blessing you, making sure nothing will happen to you. At least I dashed our foot against a stone. That song was 91. Holla biz that, y'all. Y'all keep your heads up. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. DB Gang Song Assimilation. You already know it's the best channel on YouTube. Holla back, play it, play out.